Clemson enters the 2022 season with goals of getting back to the college football playoff. After a relatively disappointing season in 2021, a 10-3 finish is not what Davo Sweeney envisioned when he started the season, but he has a chance to get back with defense and a quarterback that hopefully hopefully improve. We're taking a look at the top 10 players for the Clemson Tigers in 2022. Everything with Clemson starts with Brian Brissy. The defensive tackle, when healthy, is one of the most explosive and dominant players in all of college football. This is a man who, when he first stepped onto the field, looked like he belonged as a freshman. And that's not say you know, that's that's not something that we just throw around lightly in the college football world. When you're a freshman coming out of high school, many expect you to need a year to get into playing shape, to be able to adjust to the physical style of play, especially in the trenches. Brian Vesprissi at six foot five, three hundred pounds, jumped right in and didn't skip a beat. He came in and dominated immediately. And now it's just coming down to the injuries. If he's able to stay healthy, this is a guy who's going to be one of the most dominant players in all of college football. He's going to be someone that commands double teams, which says something when you have a defensive line like Clemson does. There's so many potential NFL draft picks on this defensive line this year. Many of them that we're going to talk about in this list. But Brian Brissy is the one that we're going to talk about a lot. And if he can stay healthy, this is going to be a, a middle of this defensive line that's going to be very difficult to block. And he'll open things up for people around him as well. Now, if we jump to the outside, Miles Murphy is another potential first-round pick when it comes to the 2023 NFL Draft. 14 and a half tackles for loss, 8 sacks. He's really grown into his frame. I think when he came to Clemson, he was just a little bit lanky. And now he's put together some good moves, not just speed moves, but he's kind of worked on some combinations. His ability to make plays, get the football back to the offense, create turnovers, all that stuff makes him an impact player that if Brassie is healthy, you can't really focus on the inside or the outside because both of them are going to get to the quarterback if you focus too much attention their way. And that's just two guys. Again, we're talking about a deep, arguably, no, I'll say it, the deepest defensive line in all of college football right now there's nobody better on the defensive line than the Clemson Tigers and Miles Murphy and Brian Brissy are two big reasons why they have that title a breakout player this year is going to be Trenton Simpson now he had pretty impressive stats last year but I think that you're going to see a guy who's going to dominate even more you look at the film that he produced last season he was able to compete with everybody there wasn't a slight hesitation in his game. There's not any lacking of confidence with him. This is a guy who is physical. He's going to get to the football, and he's extremely explosive, very quick to get to the ball. He knows how to read his keys, and, he, and he's very athletic in space. He's a well-rounded player who, on the second level, they need, you know, with losing Balen Spector and James Skalski, they're going to need linebackers to step up. Trenton Simpson is the one player with the most returning experience, something that hopefully will translate to the other guys. If not, you know, he can teach those guys what they need to know. But this is a guy, if you're looking at NFL talent, on top of a guy who's going to break out even more, Trenton Simpson is definitely your guy. Andrew Makuba is, an, again, we're talking about so much NFL talent on this Clemson defense. And that's, you know, this list is going to show us where the strength of the Tigers is going to be. Makuba is one of the few returning uh, experienced players in the secondary. You lose a guy like Andrew Booth, Mario Goodrich, that's tough to lose. But Makuba comes back, and he is someone that everybody has their eye on already. Scouts and analysts have already been saying his name quite a bit as one of the top safeties in all of college football, and one that they're going to keep an eye on when it comes to the NFL draft. I think the secondary is going to be a target for a lot of teams because it feels like the front seven is mostly solidified, and that leaves opportunities for guys like Makuba and the guys at corner that are going to step up. Whether that's, you know, Toriano Pride is a freshman coming in. A lot of people are really high on him. It's going to be fun to see what they can do and how they're able to step up to help, help this defense. Now we're going to have a few more defensive linemen here. Xavier Thomas really surprised people by coming back to school. I think a lot of people expected him to go pro, and he decided to bring his explosive playmaking back to Clemson, and that's huge because, again, Miles Murphy is going to command a lot of attention. Brian Bessie is going to command a lot of attention. Xavier Thomas is going to benefit from that because he's going to be able to face more one-on-one -on -one matchups, and he's an extremely explosive player that can get around the edge extremely quick. 
He's someone that you're not going to take lightly. And at times you're going to have to put more attention to him. A lot of times when he was healthy, again, health is going to be the big concern or the big key for this defensive line. But when healthy, guys like Xavier Thomas and the rest of that defensive line are a nightmare to block. Opposite of Brian Brissy is another guy that, again, I keep saying if they can stay healthy because injuries are probably the biggest kryptonite to this Clemson defensive line. When you're looking at Tyler Davis, this is a guy who came in and many picked him to be kind of what Brian Brissy was. He's not as big as Brian Brissy is, but he was a guy who many expected to dominate up the middle to be a force at defensive tackle, and he is that still. It's just, can he stay on the field? If not, they have depth behind him, but it would just be nice to see a guy with maybe a little bit higher ceiling than guys behind him stay on the field, give Brissy a partner that can really dominate up front, and really whoever is lining up next to Brissy, if he is healthy and he's commanding more attention, that leaves one-on-one matchups with a guard or a center, and that with the guys that are returning on Clemson, that should mean good things for this team. KJ Henry looked really good in the spring at defensive end, and I think that's a good sign if you're a Clemson fan. I think that he's been waiting for his opportunity to break out, and it's kind of hard to stand out on this defensive line. We've just talked about a number of players that are going to be contributors for this defense, and Xavier Thomas, if healthy, won't give KJ Henry a ton of opportunities to get on the field. But if Thomas is hurt, or if Henry just shows that he can be better, then that gives him an opportunity to showcase what he can do, and that gives teams yet another player that they have to worry about, which is almost like a cheat code to have this much talent. And if you haven't looked at what they're capable of doing, I did a film breakdown of Clemson's defensive line and why they're the best unit in the entire country. Now, we've gone this far without talking about the offense, which should lead you to some concerns, but there are opportunities for growth. Will Shipley is one of the players that... I think, if again, if healthy, I hate keep hate saying that, but Will Shipley, when healthy, is one of the best running backs in the entire country. And late in the season, he showcased that he can be a dynamic threat out of the backfield. He showed some good hands, and his ability to make plays in space was pretty incredible, And on top of being a good runner. And I, I think that you're going to see a guy who's going to, while DJ figures things out at quarterback or if Cade comes in, I think that you're going to see a guy who's going to get more touches. They're going to be a, he's going to be a feature part of the offense, and whether that's running or catching the ball, he's going to make plays for a team that really needs it. Offensive line needs to take a step forward, but a guy like Jordan McFadden is a huge, a uh, huge returner to make that happen. This is a guy who is an All ACC talent, and with the quarterback situation being kind of up in the air. Offensive line has to be better. The offense is going to be the question. Defense appears to be just fine. And it just comes down to now there's a new coordinator. There's a new coordinator running the offense. And what can they do with the talent they have? There's so much talent on this team. And if they're able to take advantage of that, this is going to be a good offense. And that's going to take some pressure off the defense. Now, finally, DJ Uyangalele is going to be the big X factor. Can he retain his job? Can he keep his job over Cade Klubnik? That is the biggest question, and it's going to be a question until DJ puts together a string of consistent games. And when you look at what he did when he replaced Trevor Lawrence, and I should say not even last year, if you look at if you're looking at the good from two years ago, there's some really good things. And if he's able to do that again, Clemson's going to be in business. He's a dual threat that can be a nightmare to tackle in space, and he has a great arm when he's consistent. But it just comes down to, can he do it? Can he be consistent? Can he reduce his turnovers and find that confidence again with a new scheme? Maybe that does it, but it's going to be interesting to see how he rebounds from that. Clemson is in good position. There's no reason why they can't get back to the college football playoff. And it's going to be fun to see what they can do uh, when uh, they're all healthy and when they're firing on all cylinders. It's a big year for them. I think one to show that they can turn things around and get back on track to being one of the best teams in the entire country.